Your content deserves a system as beautiful as the work you create. Let me show you the planner I built to make that possible. And today, I finally get to show it to you. In this video, I'm giving you a full tour of my updated Notion social media planner. A workspace designed for creators who want clarity, structure, and a sense of calm in the way they work. I built this system to bring order to the creative process without sacrificing beauty. Every part of this planner is designed to help you stay organized, move with intention and create inside a space that feels thoughtful, refined, and genuinely supportive of your workflow. Now, let's start with the first section of this system, which is strategy. This is where everything begins. When you open the strategy section, you'll see a collection of pages designed to give your content direction, clarity, and intention. This space is your creative foundation, the place you return to before you create anything. Once your strategy is in place, everything that comes after becomes more focused and effortless. Now that we've set the foundation, let's move into the next part of the planner, which is planning section. If strategy is the foundation, planning is where your ideas become content. This section houses everything you need from ideas, content, campaigns, and content toolkit. It's designed to help you capture ideas quickly, develop them thoughtfully, and prepare content without feeling overwhelmed. The content planning includes calendar, board, and table views, so you can plan the way you think. Each content page also includes a pre-designed content template that helps you outline your script, draft your caption, and store all your assets in one place. The goal is to make content creation feel simple, structured, and calm. And then the campaigns section helps you plan content series, launches, or themed batches of posts perfect for product launches or seasonal content. This is your big picture planning space where you can map everything out at once. The toolkit is your creative library your resources for staying inspired and drafting faster. It includes pre-filled list of hooks, CTAS, caption templates, story ideas, even prompts to generate content. You can access this toolkit directly inside your content planner, so you never have to switch pages while drafting. Now that we've shaped your ideas into content, let's move into the business section where we'll organize your brand collaborations, projects, and overall operations. This is where everything behind your creative work comes together. Not just the content you post, but the operations that support it, your projects, your tasks, your collaborations, and the systems that keep your business running smoothly. First, we have task section. Here, you can manage every task connected to your content, your brand projects, and your internal work. I've structured it so you always see what needs your attention today, tomorrow, and this week. You can assign priority, link tasks to projects or campaigns, set deadlines, and track the full workflow without losing anything in scattered notes or reminders. Next is your projects database, created especially for creators who work with brands or manage internal projects. Inside every project page, you'll find its dedicated tasks, timeline, deliverables, and financial details. This helps you stay organized, consistent, and professional, especially when managing multiple collaborations at once. And then we have monetization. This section gives you a complete view of how you earn brand sponsorships, affiliate marketing, digital or physical products, services, platform revenue programs. Each type has its own space where you can track programs, products, commission rates, deliverables, and performance. It helps you understand where your income is coming from and which streams are growing. And lastly, resources, your internal library. Here you can store document templates, email templates, meeting notes, brand contacts, and your freelancer directory. Everything you need to run the backend of your creative business lives here. This section is designed to simplify the administrative work so you can spend more time actually creating. Now that you've seen the structure behind your creative business, let's move into the finance section where you can track revenue, expenses, subscriptions, and reports all in one place. The part of this planner that helps you stay grounded, 
clear, and confident in the business side of your creative work. This space is beautifully organized so you can understand not just how much you're earning, but where it's coming from and where it's going inside revenue. You can log every stream of income you generate as a creator. Brand deals, affiliate commissions, digital products, platform revenue, and more. You can also see which month, quarter, and year it belongs to, which makes all your reports and summaries completely automatic. This allows you to track your growth with clarity so nothing gets lost or overlooked. Now, let's move into the analytics section. The part of this system that helps you understand what's working, what isn't, and where your content is truly growing. This section is designed to give you clarity without overwhelm. Everything is organized into clean dashboards so you can review performance in a way that feels calm and intentional. You'll find monthly metrics along with dedicated analytics pages for Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, and email marketing. Each platform has its own clean dashboard with key performance indicators. This makes it easy to unlock platform-specific patterns. Analytics aren't here to overwhelm you, they're here to give you clarity. When you can clearly see what resonates, you can create with intention, refine your approach, and spend your time on what actually grows your brand. Now, I want to show you one of the features that truly elevates this entire system, the Grid Planner widget. This is where your content becomes visual, intentional, and cohesive. The widget sits inside your Notion workspace, so you can plan your grid the same way you plan your strategy, your tasks, and your analytics all in one place. No switching apps, no guessing how your feed will look, and no extra subscriptions. Upload images directly or embed images from Pinterest, copy the image address from Pinterest, paste it in, click refresh button, and the widget pulls it in instantly. If you design your posts or carousels in Canva, just grab the embed link and place it inside the widget. You'll be able to preview your design directly in Notion. No downloads needed. Unfortunately, this embed feature is only available for Canva Pro. If you're on Canva free account, you won't be able to use embed link feature, but you can download your design and upload it to your content planner. The grid planner brings everything together. Instead of planning content in your head, you can see it. The mood, the color story, the flow, and because it lives inside your system, your visual planning finally aligns with your strategy. It feels like a native Notion feature actually, but with the flexibility of a visual design tool. Now, let's take a moment to look at this beautiful homepage. The place where everything in your social media planner comes together. The homepage is designed to feel calm, clean, and editorial. Almost like opening a well-curated studio dashboard. Everything you need is here, but nothing feels overwhelming. It's intentionally spacious, so you can focus on what matters without visual noise. It's a home base that feels elevated, modern, and beautifully organized. A workspace you actually want to open every day. A refined layout make the homepage feel more like a creative studio than a typical planner. And that was the goal, a space that feels inspiring, not overwhelming. And that's the full tour of the social media planner. I created this system for creators who want clarity and structure, but also beauty and intention in how they work. Everything here, from strategy to analytics, is designed to support your creativity, not compete with it. If this planner feels like something you'd love to use, you can get it through the link in the description. And if you want more tutorials, setup guides, or workspace inspiration, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to share more with you. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you create with more calm, confidence, and clarity.